This time on Past Deadline, this week's news in 60 seconds, and we talk with managing editor Michael Livingston about how you can help Central Michigan life. I'm your host, the other Ben, Ben Jodway, and this is Past Deadline, your behind-the-scenes look at Central Michigan life. Here's this week's news in 60 seconds. Mount Pleasant restaurants open on February 1st. This was after the executive order from Michigan Department of Health and Human Services designed to limit the spread of COVID-19. Restaurants are operating in a limited capacity with social distancing, 25% capacity, and a preference for takeout. Academic Senate voted to extend the high effect system all the way through 2022. Previously, the Senate allowed all classes to teach in the HyFlex model regardless of prior approval through the summer 2021 semester. The Student Government Association discussed adding closed captioning and a new program for LGBT and CMU students during a meeting on February 1st. At the meeting, SJ Representative Nova Moore brought forward two pieces of legislation for discussion. The LGBTQ program, Akin to Impact, was authored only by Moore. The closed captioning legislation was co-authored by SGA Representative Austin Thompson. February is Black History Month and CMU is celebrating with a variety of events. The Office of Multicultural Academic Student Services is partnering with other CMU organizations to host different events all encompassing the topic, the Black Family. The events will be hosted primarily online throughout the month of February. You can read more about those events on cm-life.com. You can also read all about the other stories mentioned and more at cm-life.com. That was this week's news in the 60 seconds. Up next, we talked to Michael Livingston about how you can help at CM Life. Hello and welcome to Past Deadline. Here we are with uh, Michael Livingston, the managing editor at CM Life. And we're just going to be talking a little about his new position and also just some how he can get involved at CM Life. So, um, Michael, just uh, tell us about you. Uh, when did you get started in CM Life? I have worked for CM Life since I was a freshman. I'm now a junior. It's been a long three years. But, um, yeah, I've been climbing the ladder and now I got this position. But... Um, I really wanted to come on today to talk about, you know, the things that have been changing at CM Life, how you can get involved. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of great things that are happening this semester, so hoping we can kind of get all that on the table. Awesome, yeah. So let's first talk about recruitment, because I'm sure there's a lot of mm -hmm. uh, prospective journalist students looking into that. Yeah, and it's not just journalism students, too. I mean, uh, these past couple weeks, uh, me and the other editors have been going classroom to classroom in, uh, in, in the journalism department, at least, and kind of convincing people to join. But this is open. CM Life is open to any student on campus that's just willing to tell a story and willing to tell a, a good story. So you could be an economics major, you can be in biology or English or, you know, pot making, like, uh, you know, ceramic pot making, honestly. Like, if you're willing to come in and you have some great ideas, um, you know, chances are we'll hire you and, and let, give you the opportunity to tell a story and whatever avenue you want to take it video podcast uh, just writing that basic story you know um this is you know and we want people that are outside of the journalism field i mean that's what newspapers need is kind of those people that didn't study this stuff yeah okay so what what i know that there are um a lot of positions opening you can do advertising you can do graphic design um sure. but uh what do you what do we really need right now we what we need right now is reporters i mean that's what kind of what i was getting at is like people coming in with fresh ideas so um you know cm life is the only media company on campus that doesn't really kind of put itself in kind of a box as far as what medium we can use to put a story out there so you got your bca department that does great stuff on the radio and tv but cm life's also trying to do that and do the traditional journalism so really whatever your background is you probably have a place here yeah for sure um so what what do um 
reporters or other positions, uh, what will be they uh, be going through uh, as they try to join? Like, is there like an internship? Uh, do they get paid right away? What happens? Yeah, so getting down to the specifics of that, what CM Life's offering this semester is a um, spring internship. That's what we're calling it. This is an unpaid position that will lead to a paid position uh, down the line if you, you know, if that person shows that they're really interested in this or wants to continue. Um, our B positions are filled right now, but the need for a general assignment reporter really does not stop, and that's what we're looking for. So, um, you know, this uh, what at the end of the day, what you're getting is real journalism experience. You're getting something to take to employers, clips, stories, that kind of thing. You're getting your one-way ticket towards a journalism internship, if that's something you're interested in. And, uh, you know, just getting the opportunity to work with a really awesome team. Yeah, awesome. And I, I know that right now, CM Life is going through a big shift right now. Could you talk more about that? Sure. This semester, we are putting a priority on multimedia. What that means is video, podcasts, photos, that kind of thing. Social media as well. If you go on the, our social media page, you'll find a lot of just uh, general announcements. You know, uh, in the changing scape of journalism, social media is really what people are using to get their news right away as fast as they can. They're not going to visit the website or check our website every morning. So you'll find announcements that you won't usually see on the website. But what you will find on the website, longer form, more interesting stories and some great multimedia projects from um, video to podcast, you know, um, you know, photo stories, photo galleries, um, pretty much anything we can do to kind of make the story more interesting on top of maybe a, a usual written component. Okay, let's say I really want to help out with this multimedia as a reporter. Uh, do I have to have my own equipment or will CM Life provide that? CM Life will provide anything you need. Uh, you don't really have, what, what you do have to come in with is the drive and the time. Those are the two things that you should remember, the drive and the time. Um, you know, equipment, finances, I mean, at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter as long as you have the passion to do this kind of stuff. For sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I know, uh, just to speak my own experience a little bit, um, I came in like, oh, I'll do I'll do the multimedia stuff, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and I ended up just being a reporter, which ended up being very valuable. It made me cement like, although I'd love to do documentary filmmaking, I've become a really good writer. And um, uh, though I do have my own camera, ever in case, you know, CM Life wants to do stuff, I know that they'll provide it uh, if I need it, too. So... It, it all it all works out for me, uh, yeah. like here I am doing a podcast and I have like this like USB mic and it's yeah. working great. Don't right? worry, Ben. You're top tier, man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, okay, so uh, uh, I guess lastly, um, uh, do people need to be qualified in any in any uh, aspect? No, kind of like what I was saying before. Um, Come in with drive, come in with purpose, come in with the time to put in work and make CM life better than when you first walked in. Um, this is going. This is probably going to be one of the biggest shifts CM life seen in the past hundred years, kind of prioritizing um, digital stuff and cutting down on the print. You probably will see our first print product didn't come in um, until after a month of classes being started. So, um, this is going to be a big shift, and we kind of need your help in order to make that shift successful. All right. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add before I let you go? Not really, Ben. You're doing a great job, man. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Uh, thanks for speaking with me. And, um, yeah, make sure if you're interested, go on to cm-life.com. Uh, and there should be at contact us. There should be a drop down saying, um, uh, there's like uh, internships, hiring, something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, and the help wanted tab. Yep, help wanted. And there you can download an application for anything you need. All right, Michael, thank you so much for speaking with me. Have a good one. Thanks, Ben. You've been listening to Past Deadline, a production of the CM Life Podcast Division. Every story referenced in this episode can be found at our website, cm-life.com 
To keep up with us, follow us on social media at Central Michigan Life on Instagram, at CM Life on Twitter, or like and follow Central Michigan Life Facebook page. I've been your host, the other Ben Ben Jodway, and this has been Past Deadline. Until next week, so long and stay informed.